Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we have another LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens free play video for you. This one happens to be level 8 Starkiller Sabotage. We are going to get that uh, true Jedi requirement, but uh, truth be told, we already got it. And you can tell that because we're only going to get one gold brick, and that's for getting those mini kits. We're also going to round up a red brick, which we've already actually picked up too, but we're going to show you where that is. And of course, we're going to get one of those vehicle tokens for getting all those mini kits. So here we are standing on the Millennium Falcon Hub area. In fact, we're right in front of the galaxy map. And we're going to go ahead and activate it and choose level 8 or chapter 8, Star Killer Sabotage. And of course, we want the free play. And as you can see, we do already have that true Jedi requirement and the red brick, of course, too. And all right, we've got our crew selected. Let's go ahead and get to getting. Now, I know we often try to keep all of the collectibles in one swoop and try not to mix them up, and luckily for us, we get to keep that rolling in this video, as uh, there are five special little probe droids floating around that you have to take out. But if you're smart, whoa, unlike us, as we jump off the cliff's edge there, you can actually get all five of them in the order they were intended and not miss out on this mini kit sitting here. So we're going to go ahead and smash and build this weird bouncer mobile and go ahead and smash those little ice blocks and get the first of 10 mini kits. Next, we're going to target these probe droids and get the first of five. It's actually the first two. There are... Uh, what is it three more sections coming up where there are an individual probe droid and we'll show you where each of those are in fact we're going to keep that mini kit number two annotation up until we get them all so we thought about breaking them down and doing like part one part two part three part four part five but in the end it uh it's all one swoop so we figured we'll just go ahead and let you watch so all right we have used the grapple hook on the back we also used our lightsaber to carve a hole in the wall there and between the two bricks that we got from those piles we have built up this crazy like melter cannon here and we've melted the side of the wall which has revealed this silver brick so we'll pull out chewy and get our silver brick breakage on and get through on to the other side uh oh it's a chasm. Watch out. We got to get all close and the view changes and it gets pretty scary there for a minute. Really, it's not that scary, but all right. Probe droid number three is right below the double grapple plug. So we've got three of the five taken care of and we're not even barely into the level yet. So that's nice. We do need a double grapple situation here. So pull out two of your favorite grapplers and attach it to those plugs and get your spam on. Spam, 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 spam. Look at that, we have ripped it down, and look at that, with some bricks below and the piece that we pulled down, they make a nice little makeshift ladder, which can get us up to this next level, which requires a character of super strength. So we're going to pull out Chewbacca, and look at that, I actually got the timing right. I'm starting to remember on those strength handles, it's a little bit of a different game than before. So, All right, we have some handhelds up there now, and for whatever reason... Chewie is having a heck of a time landing on one of those. Like, it's literally telling me, press X. And I was pressing X, but it wasn't going and jumping up there. So watch out. You do have to press a certain icon that's indicated there. For us, it was square. And once we get across that cliff edge there, we find ourselves getting attacked by some stormtroopers. But also, there was the fourth probe droid. Did you see him? I actually took him out right at the beginning of the butt slamage there. And all right, so we've got... Four of the probe droids done, and the last one is actually on the other side of the laser field wall on the right-hand side. So we recommend you take out all the bad guys in the area, and then go ahead and smash and build this magnet, which will reveal a couple of targets on the wall there. And we can go ahead and target those, and guess what? It's going to give us oh a little secret pathway up to the top here. It's going to open the door, and watch this. Wait for it. Wait for it. We actually have an agility wall in the back now, but unfortunately, we need a character with the lightsaber, but fortunately, we have one. So I, I'm a little disappointed that they changed that. I know I was complaining in the last video about it too, but I really think that they uh, kind of messed that up. Well, not really. It's just different. You know, how can you have a, a game go on, and there's like 12 versions of the game that all work the same way, and then on the 13th version, you go ahead and change it? It's just a little weird. All right, use the agility wall with a lightsaber-wielding character. Get all the way to the top and rebuild the old zip line. And zip line down and off to the right-hand side, you will see the final probe droid. So we already took him out, thank goodness. And now we're going to do a little bit of uh, doubling back 
and we're gonna rip open this well it's actually got to use the lightsaber again to go ahead and take out that shield generator once it's free we can actually move along if you already have the red brick if you don't already have the red brick we're gonna need to go back to this pile of bricks over here on the left hand side you might have to smash a box or two to get them and build the left most multi build and it'll give you the snowman you can give a little boing off his head there and check it out we can crawl all the way around and that purple stud right there is actually where the red brick for the 4x stud multiplier is so hopefully you guys got that already and have added it to your stud multipliers and if that's the case you'll have a large amount of studs like we do and regardless we're gonna make it just to the right hand side of where we destroyed that generator and use the little hound hatch here which gets us through and oh no what's that it's a sleeping wampa actually he looked like he was munching on something I was gonna make a joke about don't wake the beast but in fact we actually have to wake him up and defeat him in order to get access to this mini kit in here so uh, go ahead and <laughs> look at that. We're giving him some dance lessons and eventually he folds and look at that We now have a lightsaber spot where we can go ahead and carve out the side of the wall there and booyaka shaw Mini kit number three is officially available and now ours and look at that too. We've got almost 20 million Stack it up stack it up stack it up. All right. Hey, let's get in the Christmas mood real quick Of course if you celebrate now uh, we're gonna go ahead and build up this nice little festive tree here and all right that looks pretty so we're gonna go ahead and move on and oh you probably remember this little area over here this is gonna require us to build up the furthest to the left multi build option which was a little tricky there it kept trying to build the top one we're gonna go ahead and activate that with any character which you can see deploys a little energy cube there and you need to destroy the multi build and build the topmost one immediately which will then power up and pump 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 up this power terminal over here which will allow us to use it and open the door and gain access inside to the star killer base so all right here we go we have to switch to a character who is not chewbacca in fact i think i had a little bit of a weird edit here because oh little musical characters there as i accidentally pressed the wrong button there all right we have pulled up our character selection wheel and we're gonna pull up somebody who can handle this first order terminal here and uh all right we have successfully completed the hack by matching up the white storm trooper now, all of a sudden we've got a nice little elevator we can go ahead and hop on but we need both characters and ours is still hanging out in the wampa cave so we have to switch on to the round hound to get through that hatch and make our character get back up there hopefully you won't have this situation happen to you as it's sort of annoying and it's kind of happened a couple of times in the last level or two but that's all right we can handle it all right moving along we got a little bit of a snowman action going on up top here and uh, we're gonna sneak around and hopefully not be seen so here we go. We're going to advance. There is something behind us that we'll come back for here in a second. But we're going to advance just a little ways up and destroy a couple of these ice blocks, which you can see give us some bricks. Hopefully we're going to be able to do another butt slam here in a second or take out that other block. And yep, you guessed it. It's a multi-build. Use the leftmost option to create this makeshift hairdryer. And as you can see, it creates this weird avalanche and it drops on those unsuspecting stormtroopers above the doorway there. But more importantly, drops a mini kit down onto the ground. Now, that silver tower on the left, we're actually going to need to smash and rebuild. I was going to try to come back and get those at a later point, but I forgot there is a little bit of a jump you need to make in order to get to the lower level. So we're going to go ahead and make our way back to that now. And as it turns out, we are able to get all of these collectibles. I think there's, what, four of these flags you have to uh, smash and rebuild? You can see we got, we'll find out here in a second together. How about that? Oh, one out of four. So uh, we basically just keep on keeping on down the pathway here. And we're going to drop down below to this next level. And once we get down there, there's actually a nice little cubby hole that we have to sneak on down through. But first, we have to switch to somebody who has a gas mask. Now, anybody who travels with a Wookiee should already have one. So good thing Finn has one. I know, it's kind of a lame joke. Wookiees do smell, though. Have you ever been around a Wookiee? I haven't, but I've heard that they are not very <laughs> pleasing to the nostrils. All right, so down below this little uh, cubby hole down here, we find not only do we get the needed handle to spin to win in order to turn off that gas up above, but we also find the bricks needed for the second flag. So that one is probably one of the easiest ones to overlook. 
However, if you are, well, I, you, I don't think, I, you know, I guess you probably could skip that. I was going to say, you're doing the story elements. I don't think you can miss it. However, in the free play, sometimes you can skip some of those things. And technically, we probably could have switched both characters to Finn and walked through that gas with both of those characters and not had to worry about that. So I guess that is a missable area. But once we get past that, we're going to go ahead and use Chewie to rip out the strong handles right behind this giant turret that's totally spying on us and preventing us from getting through. Luckily for us, we ripped out that strong handle and it gives us some bricks to build up the speeder. And the speeder is going to go ahead and distract that turret up there, giving us access by. So that's very cool. And ooh, grapple hook. And once we grapple across, we find immediately there's a scan point. So pull out your favorite quadnocular owner. We're going to pull out Han Solo. And go ahead and look up top, and you're going to find, what is that? It is a target up on the valve. So we'll go ahead and shoot that. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, look at that. It spins around, and it's going to go ahead. It looks like it's going to freeze. Yep, it is. It's going to create a nice little frozen walkway for our other characters. So that was actually rather nice. And just to the right of where we targeted that little bullseye, there is a, another box you can break and build up into another resistance flag. All right. Double grapple plug. So choose your favorite grapplers. We're going to go ahead and choose Finn and Han gonna rip it down now there is a mini kit to the right but we're actually gonna go inside this door where these little uh stormtroopers are having a little powwow and having some s'mores and we're gonna take out the final flag before we come back and get that mini kit so look at him he's got a little fire extinguisher trying to put out the fire and it's not working but it doesn't matter we're gonna go ahead and stomp them out rather than the fire and over in the right corner over there, there's that box. You have to smash and rebuild that box. Now, it happens to be like the last thing I destroy looking for. I knew it was in here. I just wasn't exactly sure where it was. And booyaka shout. There it is. We'll go ahead and build up the fourth and final flag and collect our mini kit for doing so. Now on the right, just before the doorway, as we mentioned, there is a little ice cube over here. We're going to pull out our flame trooper. And, uh, oh, look at that. It's revealed a dive pool. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over to Admiral Akbar. And uh, hopefully it's not a trap. And spoiler alert, it's not. It's a mini kit. So get your dive on and come on through. Grab that mini kit. And last but not least, we need to use this first order terminal over here, which uh, Finn can do a great job of that. And it's going to give us some bricks needed to build up a multi-build, which will allow us access to both of the handhelds that need to be pulled. All right. Okay. Here comes the droid. And booyaka shout. Multi-build bricks. And it doesn't matter which side you choose. Either right or left is going to give you the boingage to get up top. And once you get up there, hang out. Go ahead and switch characters. Smash the multi-build. Build the opposite side. And go ahead and jump up with your other character, which will then open the door and allow us access inside. So that's pretty cool. We're well over the halfway point of collectibles and timeline, and that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and jump on down. Woohoo! Watch that next step. It's a doozy. As soon as we get inside the base, we're actually going to switch to a character that has the Force. In fact, we're going to use Luke. I don't know, I'm not sure if Vader would work here or not. You know, I still haven't figured out if, like, any character can use the Force in any situation or if there are light and dark sides that you have to use. Like, in this case, it's green. But if I pulled out Vader, would Vader have worked? Maybe leave a comment down below if you actually know. I probably could have tried it myself. But anyhow, we're going to keep on keeping on after we collect that mini kit there. And, uh, oh, right. Now we're up top. And, ooh, a multi-build. We actually have to smash that, and our goal is to get up top and access a hat dispenser. Now, if you were really smart, you probably could have gone to create a character and made a character with a Stormtrooper helmet on. I don't know if you can do that now, and I don't know if any of the default characters are that way. I could have checked that, too, but I would have wasted time. So we're going to use the left most way of building the multi-build and look at that it gives us a nice little bb-8 boinger and we can bounce up there and grab mini kit number eight now this gets a little tricky and i totally botched this again now you'd think that after playing the story i would remember how this works but i totally messed it up but you're gonna need a character that has the strong handle ability or in our case chewy and then you're also gonna need a character to go ahead and stand on this lift now it's important to lift your character up to that handle before trying to pull the strong handles. Now, you can see I had it all backwards, and if I'm being totally honest, 
I had edited out about a minute and a half worth of mess ups or flubbubs as I like to call them. And uh, yeah, so I was lucky enough that I could match up some points. In fact, I'm not even sure you can tell where the edit was because it's already long gone now and uh, makes it look like I actually knew what I was doing because it was a mess, I'll tell you what. And one of these days, you know, I need to start compiling all my bloopers or my mess ups and, and do some blooper videos. Like, I think that'd be cool to at the very end of a series when I'm all done and got all the collectibles, everything up, do a blooper video. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to do the stories, uh, all the cutscenes again. We did that for Marvel, and you guys seem to like that, so we'll probably do that again for the Star Wars, the The Force Awakens. I don't know if we'll do the new Star Wars adventures. That might get a little confusing, but all right, we are up in the, the pool area or the spa area, and we have destroyed all the bad guys and a couple of boxes that gave us some multi-build bricks, and uh, we could choose the diving board, which doesn't get us much, but we actually use the back left option, which is a hat dispenser, and we have selected the Stormtrooper hat. So look at that. We have passed the scan. Thank you very much. And now the door is open, and we'll go ahead and slide on through, and guess what? We're getting pretty close to the next area where we're gonna find some collectibles. And hey, speaking of which, um, we actually uh, had a little bit of a, a, well, there was a cutscene there that we took out that just wasn't needed. So that's why there was a little bit of a weird fade there. Um, and as we begin this blaster battle, it's important to note that there are some little RC cars cruising around on the ground. There you can see one right coming up the middle right there. And you can take those out during the battle or you can take them out after the battle. Now, it might be a little easier to worry about them once this blaster battle is handled. So start off by scanning. I believe that's what we had to do. And uh, then we have to reveal a grapple plug. Once we see that plug, uh, we have to remove it by grappling. And then next, we're going to actually get attacked from above, which we can see some shiny bricks. So we're going to pull out our favorite silver brick breaker and toss up a couple of thermal detonators, which will take care of those bad guys up top and drop it like it's hot down below on these guys and actually allow us access to the next little point here. So now we have a scan. I, I don't remember what the, you can go back and look and see what that first one, it wasn't a scan. I know that before the grapple plug. But anyhow, we now pull out Han and his quad knocks to go ahead and reveal a nice little weak point on this bridge, which is guess what? Double grapple plugs. So we got Han out, he can go ahead and attach to one and look at that, we've got Luke, he is not a grappler. So we're gonna choose Finn, because he's quick and easy. Of course, Leia, there's plenty of other grapplers. Even J.J. Abrams and Kathleen Kennedy, the producer and director that both have characters, are capable of doing this. So it's not like you're limited to who you can choose, but get your double grapple on, spam, 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 and drop it down and check it out. We have removed the giant turret in the back, and now we are free to run around. And, oh, speaking of run around, there is one of those little RC cars. I don't know what you want to call those, but you got to take out four of them in total. And again, we feel it's easiest to take out all of the bad guys first. And oh, I accidentally shot the first one. Did you see that? Here comes the second one. Oh, boo, you can shout. Two down, two to go. Now, there is quite a long hallway here that this blaster battle took place in, and it's quite possible that the droids you're looking for are back towards the beginning. So once all the bad guys have been removed and you've grabbed all your studs with your multipliers, go ahead and make it back, and there you go. So there's the third one. And now we make it all the way to the beginning of the hallway, and we're not finding the fourth one. I, I won't lie. I was kind of starting to panic here. I was like, uh oh, which way did it go? Which way did it go? And eventually he comes popping out. He comes, takes a little mid-afternoon stroll here. And, uh, yep, it's not this. That's the strong handle. That's You don't want to do that. That'll take you out of here. So make sure you get the final droid. And if I'm being honest, we actually have another point of interest right here, too. So uh, we're going to go ahead and... Oh, there he is! Find him! Booyakashow! 9 of 10! And the final mini kit is actually going to be right to the front right hallway of the blaster battle. And we need a character with the Force. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over to Luke. Don't be confused with the old Stormtrooper helmet he's got on right now. I wonder how long that'll last. I, probably not through the level, but or after the level anyways. But uh, all right, so we got inside. We have all 10 mini kits. And oh, look at that. Look at He wears that helmet quite well. Watch. watch. He even shrugs and does a little, Ooh. I guess we missed it. It was going too fast. But uh, all right, so we uh, have a strong handle in the back now. We have all the collectibles, as I was saying before I got excited about that Stormtrooper helmet. 
And uh, now we see Captain Phasma, and we have the final battle with him, which is pretty much just a series of taking out some bad guys down low. He then gets into position either on the right or left side, revealing some silver bricks below him, which we need to toss a thermal detonator at him and blow him up and make him go kablooey. All right, so I got a little uh, grenade happy here, and I was feeling like these grenades were the best way to take out the stormtroopers because some cases it takes two or three shots to remove some of those stormtroopers, whereas if you get a well-placed grenade, it will take them out in one. Now, speaking of well-placed grenade, uh, one of these is bound to be well-placed, but uh, as you can see, Phasma has moved over to the left-hand side, and after a few shots... He has revealed a silver box below him, which we blew up. Now, I think the case is you actually have to take out the bad guys that he dispatches. So now he's got a bunch of bad guys. We're going to go ahead and take these guys out. And once we do, I believe that's when he moves over to the right-hand side. Oh, he's already over there shooting. Oh, look at that. We've taken them all out, and now there's another silver one. So, hey, maybe it's moving faster than I think. I remember this being quite slow and... Uh, boring while playing it in the story and the free play but uh, hey check it out we've got some targets now there's a rumor too that if you've got a quick draw McGraw you can actually take out both of those targets in one sitting but once he provides the first one I only get the first one you got to shoot those rockets too those rockets can do some damage but I guess at this point you're probably not too worried about getting a certain metal we've got plenty of studs look at we got 51 million studs and change but uh, and I tried to cheat too and shoot one of my grenades up there and it did not blow up both of the bullseyes. So anyhow, you've probably moved on. You're probably not watching this video anyways. All the collectibles have been collected and we simply just need to avoid a couple more rockets and a couple more bad guys and then target that final bullseye up there, which should be popping up any second now. Wait for it, wait for it. Come on, quit shooting rockets at us. But you can see, how I feel like you have to take out all the bad guys down below. Oh, nope, you don't, because they're still down there, and there they go. I proved my own theory wrong right in front of your own eyes. And we're going to get in a final little battle with Chewie. Spam that button, and we'll take us into the final cutscene, which has been removed. So we're here at the final totals. And, yep, Star Killer Sabotage free play level complete. Now, we'd already gotten the gold brick for completing the story level as well as the true Jedi requirement, so that just leaves one gold brick left for getting all of the mini kits, which you witnessed. We got all 10, so woo to the who. What does this build up? Hmm. What you got? What you got? What you got? I love that they give us the actual uh, names of all of these things because sometimes you can't tell what they are. Or maybe I'm not smart enough to know all the different characters and such of the levels and games. But in Star Wars, they tell you, which is pretty awesome. And uh oh, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens Level 8 Star Killer Sabotage Free Play. And uh, yes, we got all those mini kits and we got that red brick. And hopefully you guys got a smile on your face while doing it. And uh, hey, if you guys have any questions or requests or maybe just have a simple comment you want to drop, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply drop it down below on YouTube. We also have happythumbsgaming.com. We actually have G+, Twitter. Uh, whoops, I already said Twitter. Twitch. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. Look at the links down below in the video description, and uh, we'll make it easy for you. In fact, there's even a link to the trophy achievement guide for this game. So check it, check it out. As for me, boys and girls, I think I'm going to take a little break. I'll see you in about six months. No, I'm just kidding. We got work to do. What are you talking about? Uh, as always, until next time. Oh.